What's up guys, it's your boy Bye Bye here again with another Rage video. Uh, I wasn't going to make another one for the topic, but I feel like I need to actually let you guys know what I think about the Rage mechanic in Rise of Kingdoms. How I think Rage actually works. Uh, so I will try to make the video as simple as I can so that everyone can understand, okay? So first, do I think there is some sort of rage cap? The answer is yes. There is definitely a rage cap for each commander. So what do I mean by a rage cap for each commander? So let's go to the commander list here. And uh, let's say for Grand Yu, for example, right? If you're looking at Grand Yu active skill, the rage requirement to cast the active skill is 1000. Okay. So if a commander rage requirement to to cast an active skill is 1000 that commander rage cap is 1000 you cannot gain more than 1000 uh if a commander like uh prince edward for example right um let me go to see prince edward here right so if a commander rage requirement is 1250 rage that commander rage cap is 1350 Okay, you cannot get more rage than the rage cap for that commander. Uh, so, uh, and I don't think, I don't think there is a rage cap per turn, right? Let's say, um, I think there are some, so some other content creator was saying that uh, there could be like a rage cap per turn. There is a maximum amount of rage you can gain per turn. To be honest with you guys, uh, I think, like in my opinion, well, in my opinion, I think a commander can get as much rage as he can in every turn. Uh, so first, let's go and take a look at one quick video that I prepare for you guys so that you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Uh, so let's go back to the video here. Where is the video that I prepare for you guys? Got one second here. Uh, where is that? Is it the one? Yep, it is the one, okay? So in this video, I want you guys to pay a very very close look at the, the test here, okay? So I want you to okay, so I want you to pay attention when Grand Yu, so I am using Grand Yu to attacking on a, on an YSU right now. I want you to pay close attention to when my Grand casts his active skill, right? When my Grand casts his active skill, the YSU is going to be silent for three seconds, right? In that three seconds. Pay attention to exactly what could happen in that three seconds, okay, guys? Okay, so here, my Gwen is about to cast his active skill. And as you can see, the YSG, the YSG's wish is around 90%, 95% already, okay? So after my Gwen casts his active skill, in the next two seconds, the rage mirror for the YSC will not increase above 100%, which is the 4 bar. 1, 2, 3, and now, you can see now the YSC casting the active skill, okay? And, at, right after, right after the YSC casting the active skill, you can see that the rage is now reset back to zero, okay? So, in that two turn or three turns that the YSG was silenced, he does not gain any more rage above the 1000 limit, right? So, YSG rate requirement is 1000, right? When you, when you silence for three seconds, you do not gain any rage past that 1000, okay? So, like, it would make sense, right? You might think that, oh, if I get silent for three seconds, maybe I will accumulate the rage above that 1000 limit but you can see right here it does not go past that 1000 and the moment you cast your active skill the rage is reset back to zero okay so let's go and see it one more time here for you guys and and i'll explain to you guys why it is important for you to know that there is a rage cap for each commander here again, 1, 2, 3, 3 seconds, he did not gain any rage there, the rage stay at 1000. Alright, so let's go back into the game here. Uh, so, 
The test video shows that a commander cannot gain more rage past their rage cap, right? So, for example, here, a rage cap for Prince Edward is 1350, and the rage cap for YSG is um, 1000 because of his active skill. 1000 rage requirement means 1000 rage cap right there. So, uh, so let's, uh, so like, so when you know the rage cap, right? So any rage gain after you reach 1000 rage for YSG, it was the, in the case of uh, when he reached uh, 1000 rage and he got silent for 3 seconds, he got keep gaining rage for the next 2 and 3 turns when he was silent, but those rage are wasted. They are not getting accumulated past 1000. So why do you need to know this information? Uh, so let's say, right? If a commander, if a commander can cast his active skill every five seconds, every five seconds, it means that you are getting on an average of 200 rage per turn, right? So like every five seconds for you to cast an active skill, it means every turn you need to gain 200 rage. So in five turns, you're going to get 200 times five equal 1000. That's the required amount of rage for you to cast an active skill. So and let's say if a commander, let's say like a slower commander in terms of rage, a regeneration like Richard or Chomatel, it might take you 10 seconds to cast your active skill, right? So it, you can say that on average, they, they, they generate about 100 rage per turn, right? 100 rage times 10 seconds, 1000 rage, that is when you cast your active skill. Um, so let's go and talk in terms of, let's go and take out one of the items that I have here, which is the Horn of Fury, right? So the Horn of Fury have a normal attack, have a 30% chance to gain extra 50 rage. So let's go back. Let's go back to the scenario when let's go back to the scenario when you have a commander that can cast your active skill every five seconds, right? So when you have a commander cast the active skill every five seconds, it means that you gain 200 rage per turn. So if I have a Horn of Fury, can can a Horn of Fury help the commander? Uh uh like, can, can a Horn of Fury can help the commander gain an extra turn? If my commander already, like, generate 200 rage per turn. Okay. So let's say, uh, let's say if your Horn of Fury trigger once in that 5 second window. Okay. It means that, so instead of you getting 200 times 5, 200 rage times 5, or 5 turn, right? Now you're going to get 1, 200 times 4, and plus 250. Okay. So let's say you gain turn 1, turn 2, turn 3, you gain 200 rage. And let's say turn 4, your Horn of Fury kick in, you gain 250. Now you have a 200 plus 200 plus 200 plus 250, that is 850. You still, you still need another turn, which is you, got, you, you need another 200 rage for you to cast the skill. So it still requires you to have 5 turn, 5 second right there. So if the Horn of Fury only kick in once in that 5 second window, you will not get any extra turn. So what if, what if your Horn of Fury triggered three times in the five second window? So if you, if your Horn of Fury triggered three times in the five second window, you're going to get 250 plus 250 plus 250 plus 200. That still leaves you at 950 rage only. And it's still not enough for you to cast an active skill. You still need another turn, which is another 200 rage for you to hit that 1000 for you to cast an active skill. So you still only able to have a five second cast time. Doesn't matter, right? So for you to get an extra turn, your Horn of Fury need to, to trigger four times in that five second window. It means you have to gain 250, 250, 250, 250, which gave you enough 1000 rage for you to cast the skill one second faster. And that is when it comes down to like, is it worth it for you to, to put a Horn of Fury on a commander that have very, very high rage uh, regenerate already? Because if the commanders they have a very very high rage based already, the Horn of Fury got take the Horn of Fury is got need to kick in very very often for you to get that extra turn. In terms of like when it when it, when it comes to like a commander like Richard, right? Who cast let's say Richard cast a skill once every ten second. Okay, so once every ten second you casting your active skill. So the Horn of Fury it means you generate one hundred rage per turn. For 10 turn, okay? So 100 rage per turn for 10 turn, 100 times 10 equal 1000, enough for you to cast an active skill. So let's say if the Horn of Fury kick in one 
one time in that 10 second window, you still not able to cast your skill. Like you, you still not able to gain that one actual turn, one actual second. But if you, if you want to feel it kick in two, two times in that 10 second window, you gotta be able to gain that one extra turn. And it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier for the Hunter Fury to kick in twice in the 10 second window than for, for the Hunter Fury to kick in four times in a five second window, right? Just because of the, the probability here, right? 30% chance in 10 second window, it's very, 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 very likely that you gotta be able to trigger the Hunter Fury twice. Uh, compared to like five second window and you want the Hunter Fury to kick in four times for you to gain that one extra second. And that is why, and that is why the Horn of Fury does not work very, very well on the commanders that have very, very high, very, very high reach based that already. So right, let's talk about like Constantine again, right? So let's say a uh, Constantine talent tree, right? Um, so we'll go back to the talent tree here, right? So like every time, let's say every turn, let's say a support commander casting the active skill, you're going to get that 150 reach right there. So when the two commander casting the two active skill right here, that is 300 rage already, which only leaves you at a sev like 700 rage left. And, and I think the 150 rage plus the base rage as well, that could probably leave them at 200 rage right there. So in two turn, when you're casting your active skill, you already gain about like 400 rage total already. And now you have a 60. Like six seconds left, right? Six second window for your Horn of Fury to kick in at least two times for you to gain that extra turn. And it's a lot harder. It's a, it's a lot harder for your Horn of Fury to trigger multiple times in a smaller window when you compare to some other commander like Richard, right, with the defense time tree or some attack commander like Alex with, um, the, with the attack time tree that doesn't have any kind of like rage, additional rage, regeneration, right? So it's a lot harder, right? It's a lot, I would say it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier for a commander like Alex or Richard to gain that one extra turn. Uh, and in case of like, if you bring like Joan of Arc uh, with you, right? Let's say if you bring Joan of Arc with your fine magic setup. Now you are looking at an extra tuned rage right here, right? Tuned rage right here from Joan of Arc. And if you bring Constantine right here, so you bring Constantine right here, you gain enough tuned rage right here. So that is, like final rage already and with the base rage as well it probably add up to like 600 rage right there now your Horn of Fury had to kick in twice in that 4 second window right as I mentioned the higher amount of rage you get from other commander from other kind of a talent tree it's gonna be a lot harder it's, it's gonna be a lot harder for the Horn of Fury to get it full effect uh, because you need the Horn of Fury to kick in like at least two times, at least two times in a much, much smaller window for you to gain that extra one turn. Uh, so this is uh, probably something I want to let you guys know, right? Uh, in case you, you guys are wondering on like how the Horn of Fury works. Uh, I hope you guys find this video helpful, guys. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.